Hello friends and welcome to the English version of Defense Matrix. We've been hearing news that over the next few months testing will begin on the integration of the missile Astra Mark 1 with the LCA Tejas. The reports say that in the first half of 2021 the Astra Mark 2 will also be tested, although that's likely to be on the Sukhoi instead. Today we'll briefly talk about the LCA Tejas' capabilities and lethality in the realm of beyond visual range combat. or BVR combat. The Astra is India's indigenous missile that has a maximum range of approximately 110 kilometers. As missiles go, the effective range may be considered to be around 60 to 70 kilometers in real world conditions. Generally in beyond visual range combat, the lethality of a missile depends on the initial speed and on how long this missile can sustain the speed. The Astra's initial speed is approximately Mark 4.5, which is quite good, and this is comparable to the initial speed of any missile in this category, whether one compares it with the American AIM-120 Amram or the Russian R-77. The Astra has lock-on before and lock-on after launch capabilities. So if there are multiple targets, the missile can lock on to its target while mid-air after being launched to confuse the enemy. Overall, the missile is superior to the AIM-120C version of the AMRAAM, which Pakistan uses, as well as to the Russian R-77. For the moment, the primary BVR missile carried by the LCA Tejas is the Israeli I-Derby. The I-Derby has a range of about 50 kilometers, which isn't exactly ideal. Although the ER variant of the I-Derby does have a range of 100 kilometers, it's not known to have been tested on the LCA Tejas just yet. Once the testing and integration of the Astra is complete, it will become the LCA Tejas' primary BVR missile. In beyond visual range, there are three key areas of interest. First, BVR missiles. Second, the radar and data link. And then the radar cross-section or RCS of the aircraft. Now on to the second of the three, the radar. LCA Tejas uses the mechanically scanned ELTA-2032 radar which has a range of about 150 kilometers for a 5 square meter radar cross section it's notable that most aircraft have an rcs of less than 3 square meters so practically then the elta radar can be considered to have a range of less than 100 kilometers the situation is quite similar when it comes to pakistan's jf17 or f16 as well whose radar ranges are less than that of the lca tejas so if you consider the f16 block 50 The APG 68V9 has a range of 138 kilometers for an RCS of 5 square meters. The JF-17 is no better as its Chinese radar the KLJ-7 has a range of only 105 kilometers for a 5 meter square RCS. Clearly, the LCA Tejas' radar exceeds those of both of these aircraft. And here again, the advantage lies with the Tejas. Now the third of the three aspects, the radar cross section. The LCA Tejas has a radar cross section of only 1.5 square meters which is half a square meter. In fact, it's one of the best of the fourth generation fighters. There are three contributory factors for this. The fighter is compact in dimension, it is extensively made of composite material and it carries a radar absorbent coating, all of which combine to produce an RCS that's impressively small. The F16 that Pakistan uses is an upgraded version of Block 15. So composite material has not been used and the RCS is therefore not all too great. It's set to be around 4 square meters and the JF17 is said to have an RCS of about 3.5 square meters. In a BVR battle, the first fighter to spot enemy aircraft will be the Tejas and the first aircraft to be spotted will be the F16 and the JF17. The Tejas will have a head start in enemy aircraft identification and firing of missiles. Combine this with the long range of the Astra and the Tejas will be the clear winner in a BVR contest considering its missile its radar and its RCS advantages over the adversary Overall the LCA Tejas is poised to evolve into one of the most lethal fighters of the Indian Air Force right after the Rafale when it comes to BVR combat and on this positive note we come to the end of this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel Jai Hind